this is me, Jane of Beach Talk, and I'm officially a young adult. In Adult Talk, we are going to talk about some tips and ways on how we can hopefully become mature, stable, and successful young adults. In our previous Adult Talk video, we talked about the DOST CBP SME Scholarship for Science and Math Teachers. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang isa pa sa pitong DOST scholarships that you can apply as a graduate student. At ito ay ang Accelerated Science and Technology Human Resource Development Program National Science Consortium or ASTH RDP NSC. In this Adult Talk video, we will talk about the priority schools and courses, qualifications, requirements, and scholarship privileges and allowances that you can get when you avail of this scholarship. Simulan natin sa mga priority schools and courses in this scholarship. If you want to avail the ASTH RDP NSC graduate program offering, you must enroll in one of the following schools. Ateneo de Manila University, Central Luzon State University, De La Salle University, Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology, University of the Philippines Diliman, University of the Philippines Los Banos, University of the Philippines Manila, University of the Philippines Visayas, University of San Carlos, University of Santo Tomas, and the Visayas State University. In these universities, you need to take up a priority S&T program. Here are the priority programs. Agriculture, Forestry, and Natural Resources, Biological Sciences, Biotechnology, Chemical Sciences, Earth, Atmospheric and Space Sciences, Environmental Sciences, Fisheries and Marine Science, Health and Pharmaceutical Sciences, Information and Communication Technology, Material Science and Nanotechnology, Pure and Applied Mathematics, Pure and Applied Physics, and lastly, Statistics. If you have decided on the priority school and the priority master's or doctorate degree that you want to take, here are the qualifications. An applicant must be a Filipino citizen, not be more than 45 years old at the time of application, be in good health condition, pass the admission requirements for graduate studies at any of the NSC member universities, and pass the interview and other screening procedures. If you think you've got a fighting chance for this scholarship, here are the requirements that you need to secure and submit to the scholarship coordinators of each school. You need to submit an accomplished ASTH RDP NSC information sheet or application form which can be downloaded at sei.dosd.gov.ph or through the websites of the NSC member universities. You will also be submitting a photocopy of your birth certificate but just prepare the original copy in case DOST asks for it. You must also pass a certified true copy of the official transcript of records specifically stating the purpose for further studies. If you want to apply for a master's program under this scholarship, you need to have two endorsement letters from your professors in college. And if you're planning to apply for this scholarship in your doctorate program, you need to secure endorsement letters from two professors in your master's program. If you are employed, there must be a recommendation letter from the head of agency and a permission from the head of agency to take a leave of absence while on scholarship or proof of resignation or termination of contract. You must submit a medical certificate to state your health status, which can be given by a licensed physician with his or her PRC license number indicated. 
You also need to pass a valid NBI clearance a letter of admission with regular status from the program head of the accepting institution which should include the evaluation sheet. Lastly, you need to have an approved program of study. For the additional requirements, if you are a lateral applicant or if you are a thesis or dissertation applicant, please refer to the USD's official website. If you have availed of this scholarship, here is the breakdown of the scholarship privileges that you will receive. If you have qualified for this scholarship in your master's program, DOST will shoulder the actual tuition and other school fees of your degree. You will also receive a 25,000 monthly stipend, 20,000 per year book allowance. You will also receive a transportation allowance, which is one actual economic class round trip fare per academic year, which is given only to those who will study outside their home province. In addition, you will also have a 1 million pesos per year insurance coverage. You will also receive a thesis allowance. If you're having a dry thesis, you will receive 30,000 pesos financial assistance. But if you're having a wet thesis, the OSD will give you 50,000 pesos. On top of that, under the Student Research Support Fund, DOSD will give 89,000 pesos research grant, 75,000 pesos dissemination grant, and 36,000 pesos for the mentor's fee. If you have qualified for the ASTH RDP scholarship in your doctorate program, DOSD will shoulder the actual tuition and other school fees, and you will receive 33,000 pesos stipend for every month. In addition, you will also have a book allowance which is 20,000 pesos per year. The OSD will pay for the actual transportation allowance which is one actual economy class round trip fare per academic year which is given only to those who will study outside their home province. Scholars are also given a 1 million pesos per year insurance coverage and when they write their dissertation, they will receive 60,000 pesos for a dry dissertation and 100,000 pesos for a wet dissertation. Just like the master's program, ASTH RDP scholars in the doctorate program will also receive grants under the Student Research Support Fund. They will receive 253,000 research grant, 150,000 dissemination grant, and 72,000 pesos for the mentor's fee. If the scholar finishes his or her degree earlier than the prescribed period of his or her study, the stipends in the remaining months will still be given to the scholar. Don't forget to check the description box for the details of the ASTH RDP NSC scholarship and for any information or policy that you may want to know. Adult talk ends here. We know adulting is tough, but let's adult talk about it. Bye!